Do you still have the problem with overheating? Then I have a good news for you because I know how to drop from 5 to 20 degrees Celsius with just few button clicks. Stay tuned. What's up everyone? My name is Andre and today I will show you how you can easily disable CPU Turbo Boost on your laptop and save it from overheating and eventually dying. But first let's clear something about the CPU Turbo Boost feature. You see, the CPU's core's clock speed isn't static and constantly changing to give us, the users, the best possible performance with a reasonable power efficiency. In normal words, full power when we need it, like playing games or doing really heavy calculation, and reduce power when we kind of surf internet and watch movies and whatsoever, something very small. So it sounds really great, but hey, Andrew, why do we want to disable it? In reality, modern CPUs have four, sometimes even eight cores and 16 threads running from 2 GHz and up to 5.2 GHz and produces as much as a small nuclear reactor in the very limited and concealed space as of your favorite two kilogram laptop. And do you know what happens with the CPU that is overheating? It drops its clock speeds down, which is called CPU throttling. And it's almost like the CPU saying, oh, guys, that's too hot. I cannot work like that anymore. And of course, it's getting slower. And after all, of course, it's not really big deal for our CPU to do this over and over. It can withstand this kind of load, no problem. But other components in the laptop can't. Let us not forget that a laptop is a very high density package of multiple and multiple components that can be not that to to tolerable to the heat and especially constant heat as our CPU and GPU. And I bet you would think that's it, right? Not exactly, because over the course of the time, our fans and the radiator tends to get clogged with different dust and dirt, which decreases the efficiency of our cooling system and worsens the entire story for our laptop. What do you think of that? So now you know the entire sad story about the modern gaming laptops and we finally can go back to the business and disable this CPU Turbo Boost feature. Right after you do me a really big favor and click this like button and subscribe button to this channel and even bigger favor you put the comment under this section uh, of the video. And now I finally will show you how you can disable and enable your CPU Turbo Boost whenever you need it on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 laptop. It's very, very simple, but it requires some background knowledge. So let's switch to my laptop screen over here. And here we are. As I have mentioned, switching the CPU Turbo Boost is very simple. We need to edit our power options of our Windows OS. So let's do that. So I do Windows R to run the power config CPL command to open the power options window. Also, I can do this by clicking the right button click on the Windows button and selecting power option. In the power option window, let's go to the change plan settings. Then I go to the change advanced settings and, and in the next window, I will find the processor power management option. So next, under process power management, there is a process performance boost mode, which is the setting that we are looking for that allows us to tweak the behavior of the CPU Turbo Boost feature. I know this option is not visible for the most laptops by default, therefore please go directly to the next chapter where I show how you can make this option appear by editing the registry of your operation system. And after you are done, please go back to this chapter once again. By default, it's set to aggressive or enabled, which is basically turned on. And we just need to turn it off by simply setting it to disable. That's simple, right? Also, if you want to restore all the settings that you tweaked before back to the manufacturer settings, just click that restore default settings for this plan button and everything will be back in no time. Now about this not visible option. On most systems, this option is not visible by default and needs to be enabled through editing the registry of our Windows. Don't be afraid, really. It's, it's way simpler than it sounds. Just bear with me for a couple of minutes and you will have it enabled. So let's open our registry and follow the path that I'm following right now. Also, I will put all the links and all the path to the video description so you can just copy paste and put it and really easily change it yourself.
Once you have it opened, there is an option called attributes. We need to change it from one to zero to activate and enable the option to be visible in the power settings. After you are done, just close everything up and reopen the power settings options and your option should be visible for you straight away. So go ahead and finally disable the CPU boost and save your laptop from heating, overheating, burning and exploding just in front of you. Good job and that it is for this time. Please let me know in the comment section if it worked for you and helped you to resolve your issues with overheating. If not, please leave the comment as well. I would like to help you to figure this out. Thanks for watching. As always, hit the like button, subscribe button to my channel and we, we see each other in the next videos. Bye.